Hi Cancers, welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna pull some cards for you guys and we're gonna see what messages the universe has for you. When I was pre-shuffling for you guys, I kept seeing the Unbothered card in this deck. I put it back in twice and it came out. So I'm picking up the energy that someone is sort of worried about you guys being unbothered, not really caring what's going on with them or the connection. They may feel like you have someone else. It's like this person is sort of worried. Um, they're wondering if you guys still have a relationship or a connection or are you done with them and you're just not letting them know. So let's just see here. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for cancers? What do they need to know? So we have non-committal. No wonder this person is worried because they were non-committal to the situation. They may feel like you've moved on. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? Making an effort. Family issues. This person could have pulled away from you because they had some family issues they didn't want to tell you about. They could be living with someone else, married to someone else, or just, you know, seeing someone else. Yeah, they're not happy in their life right now. We also have fights, arguing all the time, not on the same page, a clash of personalities. And then we have making an effort. I'm willing to put in the work to have our happily ever after. I feel like somebody is now willing to come back around and put the work in because they feel like you don't care anymore. Fair what messages do you have for cancers? Yeah, we have red flags. Some of you woke yourself up. You woke your own self up by some red flags. We have no strings attached. It's just physical. This was possibly how you saw the situation going. Okay, you saw that this person was non-committal. And you saw the red flags. And I feel like some of you turned your back or you pulled away. And now this person is worried. I feel like at first it wasn't a big deal. Like it could have been a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then it turned into a month and then another month and then this person started getting worried because they haven't heard from you so i feel like they were used to pulling the strings here or used to running things or at least they thought they were cancers and now since you pulled away from this you have this person worried as fuck yeah we have they're still hope so they're still hoping that you guys can work this out and get back on track some kind of way we have home this person could have some issues at home here or either this person and you were living together and they moved out and wherever they moved to, they're having issues and they're not telling you. But it's because of what they're, um, yeah, I feel like somebody was, okay, you guys could have been living with someone and you may have put this person out. No, this is not going to be everyone's story. So take it how it resonates. Sounds very specific here, but I'm going to say it anyway, because someone's going to resonate with this. this is somebody's issue. You may have put this person out. They could have went back to a wife or a baby mom, but they're still having family issues. And now this person is missing you. They haven't heard from you. They may feel like you don't care. We have the feminine has had enough, choosing to find someone better, cutting their losses. Okay. So we have sacrifice. There's a sacrifice I need to make. I'm not sure if I'm ready. Yes, yeah, somebody was living with you, um, Cancers, and... You wanted this person to make a decision like you either wanted them to divorce someone or like leave their baby mom alone or their baby father or someone that they were dealing with. But you found out they kept dealing with this person. And I feel like maybe you guys were engaged to this person. You could have been engaged to be married or you had a promise ring or something or you were um, you were married and you put this person out. I see this person taking off her ring. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What do they need to know? Okay, some of you blocked this person, but now they feel like you guys were meant to be and they want you back. This person wants you back, cancer. You saw me shuffle. Can't make it up. Blocked, meant to be, and want you back. So I feel like some of you blocked this person from talking to you, from seeing you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's like this person may feel like they don't have access to you. And if they do have access to you and if they reach out to you, you could be ignoring them. They may see you on social media and you don't speak to them or you don't like um, comment or say anything. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? 
Mm. Yeah, they may feel like they have to stay with a situation where they're not happy. They feel trapped in their other situation. I feel like this person is missing you and they feel like they uh, messed up a situation pretty bad here. We have trapped in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck, cannot escape from it. We also have pretending. I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. And we have breakup. So some of you just broke up with this person recently or it could have been a while ago. It's going to be different for everyone. Um, but somebody is pretending that they're happy when they're really not. Whoever they're with, they feel trapped. They don't feel the love there. But they feel like they don't have any choice but to stay with this person for now until they can do better or possibly until their um, finances increase some kind of way here. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for cancers? This person got caught. Either you guys caught this person or this other person that they were dealing with caught them with you. We have found evidence on their phone. Someone said something or caught in the act. What messages do you have for cancers? Keeping you a secret. Possessive lover. Like, I feel like this person keeps you a secret, but they don't want anyone else to have you. Like, what sense does that shit make? <laughs> like, period. What sense does that make? We have possessive lover. They want to be the only lover in your life. It kills them to think you could be sexually involved with someone else and that they would lose you to another person. Even though... Even though Kansas, they did not treat you right, okay? So some of you may be dealing with a narcissist where they feel like you belong to them. See how this guy is hanging on to this person? But her face is hidden. Like you can only see him. You can't even see her. All right, so we have exhausted. Breaking point, tired of living a double life, too much drama on both sides. So they could be going through something with you and with this other person that they're dealing with. All right, you feel like this person is hard to read and you're tired of trying to figure out what they want or what their intentions are. You confuse me, you give me mixed signals and then we have bad timing. Waiting for the right time, patience is needed. I feel like this could be someone where you feel a lot of love for them. They feel a lot of love for you, but the timing is all wrong. This person, it's just, they need to get their shit together like this. It's not... It's not time for you and this person to be together. Yeah, this person has some demons or some, some some issues that they're dealing with. We have your light irritates their demons. So they see you doing good. You're happy, you know, and they see that. And I feel like they're irritated by it. They want you to be sad and angry and pissed off like they are. This person makes a lot of bad choices. You may feel like you want to throw the whole relationship, connection, and the person in the trash. We have throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. Maybe that's how you're looking at your situation. Yeah, there's something here that you you already know. You already know something about this person that they could possibly be keeping a secret, like some sort of bad choice that they made. This person may smoke a lot. They may smoke a lot and think about you and you know the connection that they have with you. This person may also see you on social media and they get very irritated because they see you doing well and they don't like to see you happy. It's like they want you to be sad or pissed off or sort of um, if this person is missing you and they're depressed about it, they want you to be the same way. But I feel like you're not because you know exactly what's going on with this person. You already know that they're not happy with this other situation that they're in. All right, so let's pull a couple more. This person may have some car issues that they're going through here. We have no car, repo, and car, uh, car issues, and then we have sick. So this person could be sick right now. Maybe they're stressed out sick, you know, or they could legitimately, legitimately be sick. Or some of you may be sick. You may be sick from, like, dealing with this person, like, stressed out. All right, um... Yeah, and you're giving this person the cold shoulder. I put the deck up right side up, and this is what was on the bottom of the deck. Cold shoulder. So some of you are doing this because you feel like you don't have any other choice. You know, you tried to make something work with this person, and they weren't working right. I mean, they weren't working with you the right way. They were sort of like going against you, and you just were tired of it. And so now that you pulled away, this person wants your attention. They want you to let them know 
that there's still an option for you guys to be together. Like, I felt that strongly when I was pre-shuffling. Yeah, this person's stalking you. But they kept running away and having mixed feelings about the situation. We have stalking, watching, obsessed. We also have avoiding the connection, running from themselves, ignoring you. I feel like whenever you would pull away, they would run towards you. And then when they thought that, that things were clear or back together, they would pull away again. Sort of confuse the situation. We have indecisive, conflicting feelings, and unsure of the relationship. And I feel like both of you could be longing for each other. Longing to be together, missing you, nostalgia, suffering in silence. But you may feel like even if you're longing to be with this person because you truly miss them, you may feel like something is just not going to work here. Yeah, because you felt like this person is just wasting your time. This is stuck. No changes, limited. And then we have thinking of you. So both of you guys are thinking about each other. But you just feel like, you know what, I have to pull away from this. I feel like some of you cancers don't care if you're thinking about this person or not. It's like you're not going to reach out to them because you feel like it's just a waste of your time. Because you're like, okay, things will be good today, maybe tomorrow. And then this person will go right back to their old behavior. But you're, or, um, you are on this person's mind and I feel like they're on yours as well. I feel like this person knows it and they're, that's what's bothering them so bad because they know that you still love them. But because you're not reaching out, they're wondering how you're able to hold back. They're like, who has cancer's attention? Like, what are they doing? Yeah, this person doesn't see this as being over, but this is someone who will ignore you one day. And then the next day wants to sort of like cry over you, be depressed or want the situation back. We have incomparable. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. So that's what's happening here. I feel like this person tried to replace you on numerous occasions and they couldn't. They couldn't. All right. So let's jump into the tarot. So what messages do you have for cancers? What do they need to know about their situation? All right, so we have the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Yep, you're blocked. You've blocked your energy from this person because you know your worth. The Nine of Pentacles is here, and I feel like they know it as well. Someone, they feel like you've enlightened yourself about the situation. And... They feel like you don't want to be with them anymore. So they feel like you're staying away from them on purpose. So what messages do you have for cancers? Oh, all your cards are just flying out of the deck. We have the high priestess. We have the three of cups. Oh, the two of cups and the knight of swords. Okay, so listen. <laughs> listen cancers they don't care if you don't want them anymore they still want you this person still wants you they still love you and i feel like the feeling is mutual that you still love them but you don't want to deal with this situation anymore because you feel like it's too much for you not only is it too much you may feel like this is not going anywhere and it's just a waste of your time this person may keep a lot of secrets and even though they keep a lot of secrets they still want this with the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I feel like you know this person keeps a lot of secrets, but you know a lot of their secrets. So it's like they're not fooling you. Spare, what messages do you have? Messages you have for cancers. Okay. The ace of wands. This person is still passionate about you. The star card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or this person wants to heal the situation. It's like they can't get past the passion and, and the the passion and the love and a desire to be with you. We also have the Ten of Swords. This person is realizing they hurt you really bad. They caused you a lot of pain here. 
with this ten of swords energy you feel betrayed by this person like they promised you things that they and they didn't deliver and then i feel like when you tried to get to the bottom of the situation cancers it's like they may have ignored you and i feel like it pissed you off because you're like okay you know how are you going to tell me that you love me and you want to be with me but you're not coming in and acting the way I need you to. And then we have the five of swords here. So this person was always wanting to win. They always wanted to be right. This was someone when you told them what they did to you. They may have tried to turn it around on you. And make you the blame for whatever happened. And I feel like you're triggered by the situation. Because you still think about it. And you're not over it. Even though you still love this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? You have the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Some of you may have met someone new and you may feel like it works better with this new person. And if this hasn't happened yet, I see it coming in for you. Some of you are going to meet a new person and you may feel, you know, like this is this is working better for me. So why would I go back to this other person, even if you love them? Some of you may work with this person that you're dealing with and you may try to avoid them. You may try to avoid seeing them at work. It may even piss you off that you decided to deal with someone at work. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancers? Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Temperance. Some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn that's in their head about you, or a Sagittarius. I feel like you tried to be patient with this person, as patient as you could be. And you think about that sometimes. You get in your head about it big time. And you're like, I gave this person a lot of my time, energy, effort, love, emotions, everything. You gave everything that you could to this connection and it still didn't work out. And I feel like that's what triggers you sometimes, especially when this person reaches out to you. And it's like they may reach out to you with some vague ass message, not saying sorry, not explaining themselves, you know, not saying I want to talk, just reaching out to you with like, what are you doing? What you been up to? Like something stupid like that. And I feel like it pisses you off because you're like, no, you know what you did to me or you know what you said or you know we need to fix this situation or you know I'm pissed off at you. So why are you being vague about everything? I feel like someone just wants you to forget about something that they did and they just want to be able to move forward, but they know you're not having it. So what messages do you have for cancers? Yeah, the judgment card is here. This person wants a second chance, but I feel like you may be done with this. With the death and the judgment. They're hoping that you're not, though. This is big time Scorpio energy. Big time Scorpio energy. So, like some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their chart or you have Scorpio in your chart. Or you're just like, I don't know. You may have made a final call on this. <laughs> Where you may feel like this person is never going to change. So what messages do you have? So what messages do you have for cancers? Two of Wands. The moon. I feel like some of you love this person so much. Like one minute, this could be your person. So take it how it resonates. One minute you're like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. You know, you're tired of this person's go. You know, their back and forth energy. And then the next minute you're in your head and you're indecisive. You're like, well, maybe I could do this if they were to change. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. You just feel like this person's going to always keep secrets. And I feel like that's what worries you. You're like, I'm never going to be able to trust their ass. <laughs> like, like, even if I took them back, you know, with this indecisive energy here, you're like, even if I made a decision to sort of give them a chance again and, and see how they act, like, I'm just, you just feel like you're not going to be able to trust them. Spare, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for... Cancers. Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. You're extremely guarded. 
extremely guarded here i feel like you do want to hang on to them as much as they want to hang on to you because like i'm telling you whoever this is here they are hanging on to you for dear life but you're like i don't know because you feel like you're going to be guarded very much guarded with this person because you feel like they can never make up their mind about what they want they always have you in this um, indecisive, two of pentacles energy of juggling you and someone else. And I feel like you even know who this someone else is. For some of you, you know who this person is. And you're like, okay, are you ever going to make a choice um, about the situation? Like I said, I feel like this person just wants to come back in with the full card. It could be an Aries. They just want to come back in like nothing has ever happened. Come towards you. Take this leap of faith. Come back your direction. And make this work. It's like they want a new beginning with you, but I don't feel like this person has changed. And that's what you want. You want some sort of change out of this person. And this is why I feel like some of you are reluctant to um, even give this person your attention again. You want to, though. I feel, I feel like some of you do at least. Not everyone. But some of you may be really done with this person. But some of you are like, okay, well, if they would change, then maybe. But... You don't know. Yeah, we have the hangman. Pisces energy, king of swords. Some of you feel like this person's never going to, you know, they're always going to be having something hanging in the balance here. Uh, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And then we also have cancer energy here. You're determined to sort of like maybe move away from this and let this person figure out this shit on their own. But someone's coming right towards you. You may be determined to pull away from this, even if it's just like your energy. And they're coming right towards you. Spare, what messages do you have? I feel like this person never expected you to leave. We have the King of Cups, the Emperor Reversed, the King of Pentacles. So we have Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, with... Um, Aries energy as well in the seven of pentacles they're looking at you like they've invested in this connection and they don't want to just give this up even though they know they're not acting right right but they don't want to give this up at all this person may feel like they this king of pentacles i'm picking up strong energy that this person may work a lot or they put money before everything else or their job or their business and they feel like they did you wrong they didn't spend a lot of time with you even though they invested in the connection could be this water sign as well for some of you take it how it resonates either a king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups. But someone, they feel like they did invest in this, but they didn't invest enough or they didn't invest the right way. All right, so let's get one more. Let this card slid. Oh, these two cards slid off to the side here. We have the Eight of Cups. You could be walking away from a Leo who wants to now come in and tell you the truth. Yeah, we have the King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person may have walked away from you first and then now they're trying to come back in and they feel like they have to be truthful with you. They have to be open and honest. Otherwise, yeah, because you're in your head about this. You're like, mm -mm. <laughs> you're like, mm -mm. I don't think so. But it's not going to stop this person from trying. It's just not, you know, you may not want to take them back. And of course, you don't have to. You can do. Whatever it is that you feel is best for you, Cancers. But whoever this person is, they're not giving up on this. They could be quiet right now, not really saying much, but they're still not. What was... no, never mind. I was about to say something. Okay, so some of you guys may um, deal with someone who rides uh, a motorcycle or something to that nature. But um, so we have, yeah, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Strength, Ace of Swords. Somebody is refusing to let this go. It could be a Leo or a Sag or an Aries. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cries Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.